Hi, my name is Sandra and today I'm going to show you how to add or edit a conference bridge. We are going to start at the home screen. Next, click on the tab Conferences. Since we haven't created a conference bridge yet, click on Add Conference. We start by giving the conference bridge a name. Select the conference bridge type. A dedicated conference bridge has its own extension. Choosing the dedicated conference bridge type is best for when you want a shared conference bridge that many can use. Choosing the owned conference bridge type is best for when you want a conference bridge for an individual user. The owner can then manage the participants and settings from their user portal. For now we will select owned conference bridge. Next, you have to select the owner by typing the name or extension. Select an available phone number. You have the option to enter a direct dial. This is an option for an owned conference bridge only and allows for dialing directly into the conference bridge, similar to dialing a user's extension. I will use the last five digits of the phone number that I just selected. Next, enter the leader pin. This will be the pin that the owner of the conference bridge will use to dial in. Enter the participant pin. This will be the pin that the attendees will use to dial into the conference bridge. Select the minimum participants to start. For now, I will keep it at two. Now you have several options you can select. Require a leader to start. Prompt all participants for their name. Announce participant arrivals and departures. Once everything is set, click on Save to save your conference bridge. You will see that your conference bridge is successfully saved. From here you can run reports of the conference bridge, you can edit the conference bridge and you can delete the conference bridge. Of course you can also add another conference bridge by clicking on the button Add Conference again. Please contact Dynamic Support or your account manager to set up dedicated training.